Uh, Roger Torrey Peterson was an American naturalist and artist. He was born in 1908 and passed away in 1996, so his life pretty much spanned the 20th century. And you could say that he was one of the most influential naturalists of the 20th century. He had an impact on nature study and conservation all over the world. Um, he, was, he was born out in western New York State and went to school in New York City, doing, going to art school. But his, um, his first job uh, after he graduated was as a school teacher. And you could say that his artistic talent was something that he used to, to illuminate his work as an educator uh, throughout his life. Um, as a young man, he had this idea for a, a new kind of bird identification guide. Um, he had gotten to know the birds pretty well, and he had a, a group of young friends, uh, teenagers and guys in their young 20s who were really active birders and who had figured out how to identify the birds they saw. And they were using these, you know, very detailed tomes. Uh, they had these feather-by-feather uh, -feather descriptions of the birds. They looked at paintings of birds, like the, the big paintings by Audubon and so on. And then they would go out and with their, their primitive binoculars. The, the binoculars weren't that great in the 1920s. They would go out and look at the birds and figure out, what are the simple field marks? What can I see on that bird that tells me what that is? And Roger had the idea of taking these sort of shortcuts and putting them into a little book. Let's, let's make this little field guide that's pocket-sized, that has just the essentials that you need for recognizing the birds you see. So Roger, with his training as an artist, he did these simple diagrams of the birds. A lot of them were in black and white because you didn't necessarily have to see color, just, just pattern was enough. So he did these diagrams and put little arrows on them pointing to the key marks and wrote a short, concise text and was able to produce this pocket-sized book. And when A Field Guide to the Birds was published in 1934, the publisher was, uh, the publishers were very apprehensive about its chances because it was in the middle of the Great Depression and no book like this had been done before, so they cautiously printed 2,000 copies. And those 2,000 copies were sold in the first week. And then for months, the publishers were scrambling to keep it in print because it was just flying off the shelves. And so at the age of 26, Roger was already a, a success and recognized nationally as a bird expert.